Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today guys going to take you just a take a look at just a wicked cool 1970 Chevrolet Malibu. Awesome car guys. I uh, love cars with cool stories. Um, and this one's neat, man. This car I bought here from a local gentleman. Matter of fact, I, uh, I actually bought two cars from his buddy, uh, which said his buddy had him call me, uh, and I bought this car locally here from a guy who's owned this car. I think he's owned this car 10 years, but he bought this car from somebody who's owned it since 1979. This car was actually restored, guys, in 1979. Yes. The paint that's on this car is from 79. Car's slick, it's beautiful. Yes, there's some things you can uh, nitpick on the car, but it is nice. I would not touch the paint, I'd leave this car alone. Car was featured in Super uh, Chevy Magazine in 1980. We do have the, uh, the original magazine for it, uh, but very, very cool car. Now. Uh, Tom, the guy I bought it from, I think he said six years ago, he actually pulled it back off the frame, didn't touch with the paint or anything, but he pulled it back off the frame and uh, he redid the suspension components, brand new front disc brakes, um, you know, uh, stuff like that. So the suspension co components are fresh, but everything else on this car is actually from 79. I put the new wheels and tires on it. I couldn't handle, handle the old centerline uh, drag lights that were on it. But uh, very cool car, original color combination. This is original 14 code, uh, Cortez silver car, black vinyl top, uh, black bucket seat console interior. This car also came factory. Uh, it's got the matching numbers L48, um, 350, 300 horse engine in it, and a factory 12 bolt rear end. Now, would it came factory with a 273 posi? They put a 331 Posi unit in it. Pretty car, rock solid body. Um, just a neat, neat car. The only reason he was selling it, um, he, had, he had a, a bigger place, bigger shop, he had a few cars, and uh, he sold it, uh, he just needed room. Again, you can, you know, you can kind of nitpick some stuff in the paint. I wouldn't touch the paint. I'd leave this car alone drive it just the only thing i wanted to do this car was change these wheels see the car is nice and straight down the side i believe that's all the original body panels uh it's got uh 255 uh, bf gooder trade lta's in the rear 235s in the front it's got uh, 15 by 8 american racing torque thrust d's those are brand new i actually ordered those for his other buddy's car but i couldn't get them in in time so they went on this one Again, there's a few things you can nitpick in this paint. Um, I, I probably would put wheel well opening chrome on the car. That's the one thing I thought about doing, but I just, like I say, left it alone. Um, I didn't want to overdo this car. But man, really cool car. He did put just a uh, brand new front disc brakes on the car. And this is a 70. This is the one everybody's chasing. Again, matching numbers, L48, 350, 300 horse engine in it. Uh, it's got an HEI distributor in it, Edelbrock four barrel, Edelbrock aluminum intake. They put ceramic headers on it, power steering, power front disc brakes. It's got the matching numbers, 350 turbo hydromatic trans. You can see it's got a set of uh, Wien finned aluminum valve covers. Car runs and drives as good as can be. I mean, just a nice car. And again, you can see some imperfection, imperfections, blah blah blah, in the paint, but still very, very nice car. I would not touch this paint. I 
have a funny feeling what is going to happen to this car and it will make me sick if it does. I have a feeling somebody will take this car and uh, throw a big block in it because like I say those bucket seats the council the 12 volt and they will SS clone this car. There's your original door sticker. But I would not do that man. I would leave this car alone and just have a blast with it. Again, bucket seats, console, tilt wheel. You can see that old Sun Super Tac in it. Oh, that is a, uh, a dealer option uh, compass in it too. The directions are in the glove box for it. 68,000, that's the original miles on the car. I uh, put a, a new retro sounds radio in it. Look at those old aftermarket Stuart Warner gauges in there. Just a cool, cool car. It's got Flowmaster dual exhaust. Again, 12 bolt rear end. Um, it's a uh, it, factory 273. It's got a 331 in it now. And again, I believe this car is all original body panels. Original California built car. You can see it's got the jack with the spare. So this is cool. This is uh, this is the original Super Chevy magazine. I just flipped through here. There's a copy of the original window sticker for this car. Here's also a copy of the build sheet for this car. Again, he's got some. There's the there's the article of the car. You can see it's got the center lines. Those go with the car. Pretty cool. And then he's just got some old stuff that he had. Uh, you know, that he kept with the car over the years. It's pretty cool stuff, man. And it's all spackle coated. Matter of fact, I didn't want to told the guys don't mess with this. You can see the uh, mat kind of is stuck to the trunk. But I'd leave it alone. Good car, quality car. Like I say, hits the road real nice. will just tell you guys this car to be in this kind of shape whoever owned it they didn't just own it guys they loved it to keep this car this nice cool cool car The car just runs and drives as sweet as can be. Again, both sets of wheels will go with this car. Like I said, I bought those brand new. I actually bought them for a 71 Blue Chevelle. I bought for his buddy and they just didn't come in in time. Now your little parking brake thing is up. Tack works. Gauges are all functional. Backup lights work. Radio works, blower boner works, holding good oil pressure. It does have the hardened valve seats to run on pump gas too. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram, our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. You can do that by clicking a little button there at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. That's sweetheart right there, man.
guys. 